All right, guys, in this video, I want to give you four tips to speed up Lightroom. I'm using an old MyBook Pro from five years ago when I travel, and I use Lightroom a lot on it. And, you know, there are things that I found that really speed things up that I want to share. Stay until the end. The best is at the end. All right, guys. So tip number one use an SSD drive. If you're using a laptop or desktop that does not have an SSD drive, your Lightroom catalog needs to be on SSD. I use a Drobo hard drive for all my photos. They are not on an SSD, they are on external hard drive, but the catalog itself is on the SSD. That's very important because SSDs is much faster than hard drives. Tip number two, when you import, use Smart Preview. So let me show you. You click on import. I have an SD card here. I'm just going to select just the food photography, which by the way, last Tuesday, I did a food photography tutorial. Check it out and take a second to smash that like button to leave me a comment. I read every single comment, believe it or not. And also share this video. It helps a lot. Thank you so much. Anyway, so I've selected these photos and now here's the trick. Build smart preview by default is off and by default, build previews on minimum. So tip number two is building smart preview. What is a smart preview? It's basically, I think it's about a two mega pixel. It's a small file, so it does take more space but it's going to enable you to do most of the heavy lifting on your SSD. So even if your photo is on external hard drive, most of the work will be done on that file. And it's only when you export that they will render everything and use the original data from the external hard drive. So it speeds up the process a lot. It's just a little longer for import, but you're better off importing for a longer time and then be free and work faster later or down the line. So that's the big one. SSD, smart preview. Tip number three, and that's huge. And a lot of people don't know this. If you go into build preview, by default, default you have minimum put it to embedded and sidecars that's going to create basically a preview a nice jpeg preview and when you select your photos let's say you have like 200 photos to go through you can go really fast i'm going to show you that in a second and i'm also importing as dng dng is supposed to be compatible for the next 40 years and basically it also makes the raw files smaller so i'm going to put this in my food photography and boom import it all right, because I use the embedded preview, you can see that I have an embedded preview little title here, but check this out. I can go through and look how fast it is. I mean, I can go like instant blazing fast through my photos. It's literally 10 times faster than if you don't use that option. But it's only when you're in a library module, you know, to pick up your photos, you can go, oh, I'm giving a one star to this one, a one star to this one. It just makes the whole thing instant. This is a five years old computer and it's super instant and there are big 40 million pixel files. So that's really awesome. The last tip I want to give you, I'm sure you have this by default, but you got to check it out. You go to Lightroom Classic, preference and you go to performance make sure that if you have and i have like an nvidia geforce jt 750m make sure that use graphic processor is on that also helps to render things and makes your lightroom much faster guys i make two videos a week every tuesday every friday i need ideas leave me a comment what you would like to learn and also subscribe to this channel if you didn't subscribe just smash that subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time i make a video also last week i made a video about the five biggest mistakes people do in lightroom this video is getting great attention and has been published in a lot of blogs. Check it out.